Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. This is Living in Alberta. Today, we're going to look at some of the best places to live in central Alberta for families. Yo, what's happening? My name is Kyle. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, as always, welcome back. On this channel, I break down everything when it comes to moving to or living in Alberta. So if you would like to see more videos like this one, do that YouTube thing, hit that subscribe button, definitely click that notification bell so you are notified every single week when a new video comes out. And if you would like any help with real estate needs, I am a licensed realtor in the province. You can use this info popping up on the screen right now. Get a hold of me any way you know how. All right, with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, disclaimer to start this one off. Alberta, central Alberta, very big place. A ton of really great options to choose from. This is not an all exhaustive list, okay? I've lived in the Red Deer area since 1998. So this is the area that I know and this is the area that I'm going to speak to. So I'm gonna stay within my lane and only talk about towns and cities that I'm familiar with, but with that being said, that disclaimer is out of the way, let's get into it. Let's start off with number one on the list. And these are in no particular order as always, but let's take a look at Lacombe, Alberta. First off, where is it located? If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you probably already know this, but let's throw up a map. Lacombe is about 20, 25 minutes north of Red Deer, just off Highway 2. Roughly about 14,000 people, Lacombe actually does have a city status but it's one of those crazy small towns that somehow ends up on these lists that you see coming out. In 2018 and 19, I believe it was ranked as the number one place to live in Alberta. And you're probably thinking, what does this small prairie town have in the middle of central Alberta that everyone wants to move to it for? And when you break it down, I think there's quite a few reasons. For one, it's a very, very safe community. There's not a lot of crime in Lacombe. And not only is it safe, it is a very, very chill, quiet, very laid back community. People don't care what you do. As long as you're not a douchebag, you're welcome in Lacombe. Don't be an asshole. Now, yes, it is surrounded by prairies, but Lacombe, in my opinion, is one of the most, and I hate saying this, but one of the most beautiful and scenic towns and little areas, or cities, I guess I should say, within this area of central Alberta. This place is amazing. There are a ton of bodies of water throughout the town that have walking trails all around them, which makes the town look very, very beautiful. Now they call them lakes, but let's be honest here, they're not actually lakes, they're sloughs. But they have some phenomenal walking trails that go throughout the entire city. All of them are paved and you see a lot of mature, and old growth trees in Lacombe, which is something that I really, really enjoy. Even in the newer neighborhoods, it seems like there's a lot of trees. So sometimes in these smaller cities and towns in the middle of the prairies, they can be a little bit barren. Lacombe is not like that at all. So a very beautiful city, lots of old growth trees, lots of walking trails. It has a lot of history and culture to it. So a lot of murals, there's paintings all over the downtown core which is really neat to see. It's got an old historic main street, these old buildings, which are awesome. And sometimes in these smaller towns and cities, there may be parts of schooling that aren't available, but Lacombe has everything that you need. It has all the appropriate high schools, all the appropriate schools in general, so your child isn't having to be bused anywhere. Lots of great after school programs and tons of stuff for the kids and the families to do still, so. God, I love this place. Again, check out the Lacombe Corn Maze. It is a fantastic place here, just on the west side of Lacombe, just on the west side of Highway 2. There's JJ Collette, it was a natural reserve, which is about, I don't know, 10 minutes north of Lacombe. So this is just a really beautiful town. It's really, really laid back, super quiet, really affordable housing. What are some of the cons of living in this area? I think for a town its size, it probably could have 
some better amenities. I know it's got, you know, it is a city status. There isn't a Walmart there yet. I do think that there's one on the way, I believe. What? It's got hardware stores and some other restaurants and grocery stores, but in my opinion, I think that Lacombe is a little bit lacking when it comes to certain amenities. Oh, hell no! All right, with that out of the way, I think I've did a little foreshadowing on the next one, but let's take a look at Olds, Alberta. Now, Olds is kind of in the opposite direction. So you are about 45 minutes south of Red Deer, just off Highway 2. You're pretty conveniently located. You're almost smack dab in the middle between Red Deer and Calgary, so a pretty good location. Now, why is Olds a great place to live for families? One of the biggest reasons is because of the education there. You know, there are very smart people here. So it has a phenomenal high school called Cornonia High School, and I hope that I pronounced that right continually ranking as one of the best high schools in Canada. Now the high school itself, it shares grounds with the Olds University. So people kind of think that they feed off each other. They're giving each other that high school, the energy. So they think maybe that's why the high school does so well. Obviously it's a testament to the staff and the teachers there. But the Olds University is also an amazing little university as well. It has an agricultural basis. They have lots of other programs there as well though, and it has one of the best beer brewing or beer making programs that you can find. So if you wanna to learn to make beer, Olds College is a fantastic option. And yes, it is a college guys. I think I've referred to it as a university a couple times, but it actually is a college. Now some other cool things about living in Olds, Alberta is that it is a very popular spot for people who are looking to work remote and live in central Alberta. It's really well known for its gigabyte internet. And again, until I was doing research for this video, I didn't really understand that that is kind of a big deal. I just assume we're in 2022. Everybody kind of has the same internet now, but apparently gigabyte internet is not as common as you think it is. It's a pretty big deal. And especially finding it at a town in rural Alberta, it's even a bigger deal. So super fast upload, download speed, super fast internet. And again, you techie people can explain to me the benefits of it. So really good internet knowledge, which makes it a super popular place for people who are looking to re work remote. Now here's something that blows me away about Olds. Just tell me what it is, please. <laughs> are you sure? It only has about 11,000 people. But in my opinion, when you're looking at comparing it on a size basis, it has the best shopping and amenities compared to other towns similar in its size. So in Olds, you're still gonna find things like Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Staples. For a town that's only 11,000 people, this is a great selection and a lot of options for a town of its size. You know what to do. Let's do the shopping. Much, much better than towns that are similar size and towns that are much bigger even. A lot of the times you'll find Walmarts and you may be a Canadian Tire, but all the extra ones like Home Depot and Staples, plus all the local businesses that come with living in Olds, it really, really is fantastic when it comes to shopping and amenities. What are the cons of living in Olds, Alberta? Hmm, again, these are tough again, if I'm really nitpicking and pulling hairs here. You, know, you are in the middle of the prairies, if you're looking for a lot of like beautiful, beautiful walking trails and lots of trees and different things like that, it might be lacking a little bit in that area. You do have some pretty nice mountain views out to the west, but if I am trying to find any cons with it, maybe it's lacking in the walking trail department and kind of the old growth trees, scenery, that kind of thing, other than the mountain views up to the west. All right, let's keep it going. Let's take a look at Sylvan Lake, Alberta. So about 15,000 people, you're about 15 minutes out of the west side of Red Deer. The whole highway from Red Deer to Sylvan Lake is a double lane highway, so it's a nice easy trip. Now, Sylvan Lake is a very, very young community. There is always a ton of stuff going on within Sylvan Lake. I know that sense of community is kind of a cliche term and it gets thrown around a lot, but really it is one of, in my opinion, the best way, and it actually isn't cliche when it comes to explaining Sylvan Lake. It is a very tight-knit community with a huge sense of community there. Don't count how many times I said community in the last couple minutes. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I think that because there is so many reasons for the town of Sylvan to get together where it's hanging out at the lake or all the festivals and events that go on throughout the entire year. And even in the winter time, Sylvan Lake doesn't slow down. It gets just as busy. So they plow the snow off on the lake. 
the community is still getting together. They're going out ice skating. The lake is a sea of ice fishing shacks. So there's just tons of opportunity to get to know your neighbor here. For that reason, I think it just makes Sylvan Lake very tight knit town. Now there is a tiny bit of a con if your kids are in high school and they go to the Catholic school division, there is no Catholic school for high school in Silver Lake. Your kids will be bused to Red Deer. So that is a slight pain in the ass. Again though, it's not that big of a trip to Red Deer. It's a double lane highway the whole way. For 15, 20 minutes, you're probably gonna be at school. So not a huge deal, but something to definitely consider. They have the Silver Lake Gulls there, which is a wicked baseball team. The community is always getting together to go watch games. And like I said in many videos before, there's just so many different events, festivals, and things going on within the town throughout the entire year, not just the summertime, but also in the wintertime. If we're looking at some more cons about living in Sylvan, people do say, or people do complain that it gets busy in the summertime, which is true, it gets super busy. It's the best lake town in central Alberta. It's one of the best towns, or best lakes, I should say, for swimming and you know your typical water sports and boating sports and just hanging out at the beach and kind of being on vacation. So super popular area for that reason. So lots of people are coming there throughout the summer season. But if you are living in the appropriate neighborhoods and you're not right up on Lakeshore Drive, it's not really that big of an issue. So Sylvan Lake, very young community, lots going on. It is a great place for families in Central Alberta. All right, and let's take a look at the last one on the list. And of course, you can't talk about Central Alberta without talking about the big city. Let's talk about Red Deer. So I moved in Red Deer in 1998. I didn't know much about the city. I was just coming here to go to college. Actually, back in the day, I was going to be a chiropractor. They had this fancy name program called the Pre-Chiropractic Program down here in Red Deer. And Really, it was just general sciences. They just put a catchy name to it. Anyways, it tricked me. I came down to Red Deer. I've never been in the city before, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Funny enough, instead of becoming a chiropractor, uh, I hated school and I started bartending. <laughs> so I bartended for a lot of years in this city, and then I became a fireman, and now I'm a realtor. So it's crazy where life takes you. But you can't deny all the opportunity that comes with living in a bigger city. There's just more options, more after school options, more after school programs, more options for sports, more options for different teams to play on. And obviously there's going to be more options for schools and education. And Red Deer has a very reputable college here. It's actually changed the name to Red Deer Polytechnique. It used to be called Red Deer College, which is where I went back in the day but really great options as well for education. Red Deer only has about 100,000 people, so if you're someone who wants to still be in the big city, but, and if you consider 100,000 big, when you compare it to Edmonton and Calgary, I mean, we're 15 times smaller. But it still has most of the things that's gonna come with those bigger cities. You're just gonna have a much slower pace here. You're not gonna have issues with traffic. You're not gonna have issues with rush hour or after work rush hour. That kind of shit just drives me crazy. There is a very diverse economy here in Red Deer from agriculture to oil field to trades and they're doing a lot of great things with the expansion, the biggest expansion in history in Alberta for, for HS for the Red Deer Hospital which is much muchly needed, much muchly. I always say something stupid at least once during these videos. What, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> the expansion of the Red Deer Airport, it's going to increase transportation lines around Red Deer, so I feel like that's going to be, I mean, that's awesome. We're gonna have to travel less and less to Edmonton or Calgary to take flights anywhere, and it's just going to increase and improve the economy around Red Deer as well, because there's gonna be more people moving here. So in my opinion, when you look at just the opportunity and the options and just the ability to choose, Red Deer is a fantastic place to live for families. It's not overly huge. You don't have to deal with all the traffic and everything else that comes with living in the really big cities, but you still get most of the options that come with living in a big city. Because it is a big city. I just to me, it feels like a small town most of the time, or a big town, I should say. Now, what are the cons that come with living in Red Deer? I mean, it is, I mean, a lot of this stuff is based on population size, so there will be a little bit more crime within the bigger city. That is a guarantee. Now, if you don't know the area and you're thinking of moving here, if you're living in the right neighborhood, you're living in the right area, 
you it's it's fantastic you're not going to experience any crime we do have homeless situation our downtown core but again like i've said in many 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 videos this is a situation that's happening within pretty in every single major city and center so if that's not something that you really like choose one of the smaller towns outside of Red Deer. But I love Red Deer. It's my favorite city within Alberta, the entire province. And little secret, my wife made me move north of Red Deer to an acreage. My mother-in-law gave us 11 acres, so couldn't turn, that, couldn't turn that down. We built an acreage, we have horses, dogs, all that kind of stuff. So happy wife, happy life. I'm living here because I love my wife and my kids love it here. I mean, I love it here too, but I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of Red Deer. So if you do have a young family, Red Deer is also a fantastic option. Now there's a ton of areas in central Alberta that are phenomenal places to live for families. Black Falls, I've spoke many times about Black Falls on this, on this channel, great place for families. I mean, cameras, there's tons and tons of options. <laughs> Thank you moving to the area guys and you did like the video make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button definitely click that notification bell and if you have any questions at all you're thinking of moving here but you're kind of concerned what is this town like what is this neighborhood like shoot me a text shoot me an email i don't mind answering questions whatsoever i am a licensed realtor in the province you can use this information popping up on the screen right now get a hold of me any way you know how okay i'll see you guys next week cheers